If you don't want to catch a brick when selling your comics, you definitely want to check out this video. Stay tuned. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to spend a little bit of time talking about how to not catch a brick when you're selling comics. And I will tell you, I have caught a couple of bricks over my selling career of comics. And so this video, I think, comes from a very natural place. And it comes from a place of a person that has made several mistakes. And my goal is to help you not make the same mistakes that I've made when I've sold comics because there was a lot of people out there that will absolutely take advantage. So here are my five tips. Tip number one, learn how to grade comics. This above all else is something that you absolutely need to do. And yes, it can be daunting. Yes, you will be bad at it when you first start. But the more that you do it, the more research that you do, the more books that you touch, the more raw grading that you do, the better you will get. And this is vitally important. If you are going to be selling books, you need to know what is the grade of the comic that you are holding because it helps you to establish a price for that comic. It also helps you to convey to the buyer the condition of that book. The last thing you want is a book being sold as near mint that is not near mint because that will result in bricks being thrown and you having to catch them. The next tip that I want to offer is take some time to take lots of pictures of the book that you are selling. Yes, you want to be able to grade it, but you also need to be able to show someone what the book actually looks like. And you want to take some time to take ample pictures of the comic. Take a top-down photo so that someone can actually see the four corners of the book. Take photos of the four corners. Take a photo from the side so that they can kind of see across the book if there happens to be defects. And you want to do it from the spine side so that they can actually see if there's spine ticks or not. Open the book up. Let them see the inside. What is the page color? Turn the book over. Take another photo from the top down so that they can see the four corners. Take a photo across the book so that they can actually see if there's indentations or anything like that on the back side of the book. You want to make sure that you take the time to take lots of photos so that you can disclose all of the defects to people because this is one of the the biggest issues that people will have is that they might only take one photo or two photos or they use stock photos. That is not the proper way to actually sell a comic. Tip number three, provide an accurate description of the known defects associated with this comic. This requires you to spend a little bit of time with the comic. And if you know how to grade, you can outline for someone the known defects that you are seeing from spine ticks to foxing to tanning to pressable defects, right? So you want to make sure that you know how to grade, that you take lots of photos, and that you then write up the defects that you're actually seeing so that someone can make an informed decision not just from the photos, but also from the description that you actually provide. This goes over incredibly well, especially if you are using eBay to be able to sell or if you're using Instagram for that matter. And there are videos here on the channel in which I tell you how to go about selling comics on Instagram. Providing an accurate description of known defects is one of the things that will, again, help you to not catch a brick when selling comics. The next tip that I want to offer is learn how to ship books properly. If you do everything that I've already mentioned in this video thus far, 
and you ship the book improperly, that will result in a transaction that will be bad. <laughs> It'll be bad because your great near mint, perfectly graded, perfectly photographed and described book in a manila folder without backing and boarding and all that kind of stuff being shipped is going to be returned to you. Learn how to properly ship comics. And it doesn't matter whether they're raw books or graded books. You want to protect that book from your hands all the way to the, the person that has spent their hard-earned money for that comic. And if you need any guidance on how to actually ship books, there are videos on this channel that will walk you through all of it. And not just once. I have several videos that show different techniques for being able to ship raw and graded comics. If you search for Reggie Collects Shipping, you will find several videos that will help you. One of the last tips that I want to offer to you is to do your research. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, people will buy your books from you. And if you are selling a $100 book for a dollar, they will buy it for $1 and then celebrate the fact that they saved themselves a tremendous amount of money. So you definitely want to take some time to know what it is that you are actually selling when you sell it. Is it a special variant of some kind? Is it a newsstand? Is it a printer defect? All of these things and so many other factors have to be taken into account before you actually sell a comic. That way, you know exactly what you're selling. You know the value of that thing and you know how much to sell it for. So take some time. Make sure you do some research and there are a ton of different websites and pricing guides and all of that stuff that are online that will help you to properly identify every single book that you are thinking about selling. So there you have it. We have reached the end of another video in which I provide you with five tips for not catching a brick. If you enjoyed this video, I want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment behind so we can mix it up in the comment section. And if you need to reach out to me, you can do that as well on Instagram at Reggie Collects.